friends and resellers, it's Trish with Well Sourced coming at you with the second part of my recent bins haul to the Goodwill Outlet in Na Nashville, Tennessee. I'm a full-time reseller here in Middle Tennessee, and this part is going to be the shoes and one accessory, I guess, that I picked up. And then uh, the previous video was all the clothing items I picked up, which was a lot longer of a video. So if you're interested in just hearing me ramble on for about an hour, I'll link that up above. I picked up some great items this day. I do pay $1.49 at my Goodwill outlet per pound. And I picked up 78 pounds of clothing items this day. And I haven't listed everything, but I think my breakdown is like $1.30 something per item, just average after I get everything listed. And that includes the shoes, which to me do typically have a higher a rate of return. Um, I've been trying not to bring home major projects, things that are dirty, that need a lot of repair, but Sometimes those things slip in there past my quality control. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into it. I can't remember how many pair of shoes I have here, but I'll start off first with this pair of boots. It's a pair of rubber boots by the brand Sperry. They're a really cute um, yellow boot with this leather trim, and they are a woman's size 10. It's a waterproof rubber boot. That's what it is, but it came, they were my cart, and they were dirty. And I thought, okay, I could take a magic eraser to them. And then I thought, no, I don't wanna deal with this project. And then I forgot them in my cart to put them back. So um, anyway, it's just the Sperry Top Sider rubber boot. I cleaned them up as well as I could. There are gonna be a few little marks on there. However, if someone just needs a rain boot and is a size 10, they can get these cute boots. And they are actually really cute. Those did weigh a few pounds, so I did pay a couple bucks for them, but on average, under $1.50 um, per item is not a bad deal to me. All right, next up, I have this cute, adorable pair of shoes. This is by the brand Soleil. They are made in Mexico. They're just an artisan sandal that are made in Mexico. Now, this is an interesting shoe. It says, the size in here says a, set, a 4M. I looked at their size shirt on there. Gilbert, what are you doing? There's a chipmunk out there that he would really like to get a hold of. Um, they have a size chart on their brands, but it only is five and above. So then I thought maybe that was the American sizing they put on their American website. Uh, long story short, a 24 or a 4 in Mexico sizing is a 7 in U.S. sizing. I'm going to measure just to make sure, but I really did think these were cute sandals. They have a lot of color and they're leather and they're just like a Hirachi sandal. So anyway, uh, that took a little bit of research, but we figured it out. Next up is a brand I've picked up a couple times and sold, but I think the first one I got maybe was in a thread up mystery box. Um, the brand is Corso Como and I got these, these are a 10 and a half medium and they have a really nice footbed to them. They are just a black pump. The heels were in nice condition. They have a bit of an almond toe, just a black leather pump. Um, you do see a little ding now on the leather, darn it, that I didn't see before. That could have happened when I threw them in the bag. Goodwill did want these for $8 this summer in July, but they didn't sell. Anyway, these are in nice condition and a size 10 and a half is an odd size. So I feel like someone who's wearing that size um, might be looking in the secondhand market for that. There's very light wear to the bottoms. Okay, next up, these give me sort of Y2K vibes. I need to wipe the footbed, footbed down, but they are um, Saks Fifth Avenue. They're this snake print heel open sandal with this square toe and strappy um, top. They are made in Italy. They're a leather upper. They're an eight Nero, but they have this snake print Python, whatever, snakes. Um, and they just kind of gave me 90s Y2K vibes. Like I picture someone wearing this with their boot cut jeans and crop top or something. I, something I probably would have tried to wear in the 2000s as well. I'm, these gave, 
this was sort of a random buy. These look brand new. I mean, they really are brand new. The brand is Steven by Steve Madden, which doesn't do that great. It's just a lower end line. But these sandals gave me, they look like Bernie Mev sandals, but they're this woven, stretchy, pull on sandal with this wedge platform. They're a size nine. And I, where is the other one? I did think that someone would get these. They weigh hardly anything. And they do not look like they have been worn outside, um, maybe just in the house <laughs> somewhere. But they do have the name, the brand is the Bay, B-A-Y-E. So anyway, I went ahead and grabbed those. These are funny because I saw them, I went past them, I came back through like a different round, 10 hour later, whatever, an hour later maybe. And, or it could have been 10 minutes, but um, I didn't pick them up the first time. And then I thought, why am I not picking these up? The last time I picked up this brand, it sold very quickly. These are reef sandals. They're a size eight. They're this wedge rubber flip-flop with this black metallic thong on the top. They're in very good condition. And I'll tack some comps up along the way. You'll have been seeing what I think I can get for each of these shoes. But I just threw them in my cart. I thought, why am I not buying these? Um, and so I think I've had the same pair of reef sandals for like, I think my friend got them for me for my 21st or 19th birthday, 19th or 20th birthday. And I'm 44. So they've lasted a while and they've been to walked all over the world pretty much. Um, well not world, but country and Australia and Mexico. <laughs> um, next up is the brand aerosols, which is not anything too important. These are a size seven. These are a platform with that knit top on the on there. They give me that definite 90s Y2K slip on those Steve Madden sandals or that style that everyone had. Um, and they were in good condition. Plus they're comfortable because they're aerosols, right? Okay, next up is a sandal. This is a comfort shoe line, I believe, Romica or Romica, maybe. And they're a well-made, this is a sandal. It's got this perforated leather, brown leather strap with a hook and loop closure and a heel strap. It has like just a slight heel wedge to it. These are a size 40, I believe. And they, they're made in Germany. They're just a comfort shoe. They were just sandals, good good sandals. So um, I went ahead and grabbed those. Even though we're coming out of sandal season, it's warm a lot of places year round. Last time I went to the bins, I found a pair of Fly London boots. And this time I found a pair of Fly London sandals. Well, they're, they're just kind of, they're sort of a sandal. They're open toe sort of wedge heel with this ankle strap, the suede upper. These are extremely cute. The bottoms were in really good condition. Um, the toe had a little bit of wear on it. I feel like Fly London shoes for what they cost, either people wear them out and wear them every day and in every kind of weather, or they just seem to wear easily. But these are size 39, just a cute sandal. Um, I like the closure on them here, but I did spot these right away. I've been seeing more Fly London, so maybe they're kind of going out in popularity. I don't know. Anyway, these would fit me. I think their size chart says an eight and an eight and a half, but I'm an eight and a half, nine, and these almost could fit me. I mean, I wouldn't want to walk around for hours on end, I guess, but. <clears throat> Next up is the brand Maypole, M-A-Y-P-O-L. It's gonna be really hard to see on there. They are made in Spain, maybe, I can't remember. They have this hook and loop closure on the back. It's just this brown leather crossover espadrille wedge. These are a size 40 made in Spain. Um, I have picked the same pair of shoes up before and sold it. I think Maypole might be sold at Anthropology sometimes, not all the time, but these are just a really cute sling back wedge sandal that can definitely go into fall. So need to get that list in. They were in nice condition. All right, next up is a pair of animal print heels and they've got probably a four inch heel on the back there. They are a pointed toe. They are an, <laughs> hi Penny, no, 
It's our great day. Could you get in your bed? Get in your bed. Oh, you're a good girl. Uh, what? Normally our dogs are kennel up while I'm trying to do things, but today I was seeing what would happen if they didn't, and apparently this is what happened. So um, that's Sheldon back there. Anyway, this is an ankle strap. And <laughs> Go late. You're a good girl. Go girl, lay down. Okay, this is an ankle strap. <laughs> I do not need your help. Go lay down, you wackadoodle. Get, get in your bed. This is a peep, I'm sorry. A, this is a pointed toe heel with an ankle strap in this animal print. It is leather, it has a leather bottom as well. And it is, our sorry, leather insole. They're at White House Black Market size eight and a half. And they are in really nice condition. Um, no wear to them and you know just sort of an office basic for a little bit of pizzazz for your ankle or your heel these I thought were really cute they it's just the brand nine West which I don't typically pick up um, not because they're not nice or they don't look nice but it's just nine West but they are a slingback peep toe mule with the stacked heel it's this great gray suede color on the top and this kind of angled stacked heel. Uh, they are a size, I think they're nine. They are a nine and the brand is, or the style is Go Dance. Go Dance. Go Dance. Anyway, they're just a really cute um, shoe. And I, I really like these for myself, but I just don't wear things where my heel is exposed on it. I just don't like that for some reason. Um, anyway, they're, maybe I'll change my mind for these. In nice condition, the heels were in great shape. Okay, last pair of shoes. These need a little bit of work. They need to be glued a little bit. Um, so they're Birkenstocks. They're this green color. They have a lot of wear and see how this is becoming detached. So I'm gonna use my shoe glue goo and see if I can't get them to glue back on there securely. And then maybe I'll list them. Otherwise I might just list them as like um, a pair that, you know, a fixer pair. But this is Birkenstock. They're a size 36, so that's teeny. That's a ladies five, but a little kid could wear them. But they were kind of um, a green color. I just thought they were cute. And again, needs to have this glued on here. So I don't know if someone got them super wet, walked through water. I'm not exactly sure what happened. So that's it for shoes. Let's see how many pair I got here. One. Not too bad for $1.49 a pound at about $1.49 or actually a little less per item that I did spend. I've already sold two or three items just from listing this week that I think I've made my money back from that whole entire haul. So everything else will be strictly profit moving forward. If you enjoy these type of videos, please give me a thumbs up, like this video, go ahead and subscribe, hit that bell to be notified for future videos. I try to post content once a week. Typically it's going to be bins hauls, thrift hauls. I haven't been thrifting in a hot minute, just at a regular thrift store. I've been trying to keep my cost of goods really low this summer. And but I probably will hit one up here pretty soon. So anyway, we'll see you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.